hard in a deep left field, and that ball is gone. It's another home run for Bruce. Jay Bruce now in his last 18 games and one at bat has hit eight home runs, and Chris is batting almost 400. I'll tell you what, and the damage that he is doing against left-handers, Tom, is astounding because you could used to just throw a left-hander out on the mound and you could get Jay Bruce out. Randy Wolf trying to go away, and that ball catches the outer third of the plate, and that is a sweet swing by Jay Bruce going oppage in the first inning to put the Reds up one nothing. Major League leader in batting average in August and the Major League leader in RBIs in August. That is going to get down and that one is going to go to the track. Fielder around third. He'll score. McGee on his way to second. And the tag is not in time. McGee with a good slide to get in there. And it'll be an RBI double. And the Brewers are on the board in the second inning. Not a good thing. A pretty good job in the outfield. They got the ball in quickly. A decent throw in there. And Casey McGee with a very acrobatic slide actually slid on the infield side of the bag. Nobody does that better than Casey McGee taking that high pitch to the opposite field. Jay Bruce possesses a tremendous throwing arm and a good slide by Casey. He's able to get in there. He don't run on Jay Bruce. Got a good arm. One of the best in the business. Pretty Ooh, close. Yeah, might have got a break. About this Milwaukee team. They have had their problems in the pitching department, but they can't hit. And this is a double play line drive back to Bailey. How about that? You get the double play, Chris, but nobody scored. Now that's even better yet, right there. Nice reaction time by Homer Bailey. He finishes in a position good enough that he can see that ball coming, a kind of a change up line drive coming back at him, and he was heads up. Weeks goes ground ball to Roland down on one knee a long throw what a play by Scotty Roland. But the run scores from third to give Milwaukee a two to one lead and Weeks advances on to second base. Boy a dandy play by Scott Roland. Hoping for a ground ball right at him maybe he can turn one but he's got to go all the way to the line and Corey Hart's out by a couple of steps. Boy he is just as good as. Misses on coming through as Braun delivers a base hit. So Ryan Braun singles to center field. Week scores and the Brewers 
That put two on the board here in the third inning. It's now three to one Milwaukee. All of a sudden the Brewers not relying on the home run ball to score their runs. You know coming into this series the Cincinnati Reds one of the best teams in baseball. With runners in scoring position and particularly runners in scoring position with two outs. Ryan Braun right now just seeing it must look like a softball up there for him. Yeah you know his approach lately has been up the middle the other way and that's one of those. Two and one on fielder and now throw back and they pick him off. Bailey could be as quick to home as he is to second base. He'd have no problem with stolen bases. He is out. And this happens exactly right after a fake to second base. Time of the game. Bouncing ball, base hit. Home of Bailey singles. And a throw to third, got a chance, and the tag in time. Well, what in the world was Drew Stubbs doing? He didn't slide, he shut it down. <laughs> Man, the fastest be, runner in the ballpark. Gotta be kidding me. Second bad base running play for the Reds. Not even close. Terrible. Getting over. Towards the corner, and that is a fair ball, and it bounces into the stands. So that'll be a game tying double by Vado, scoring Bruce from second. They'll throw the brakes on Valleca at third base, and it's a 3 3 game. The beat goes on for Vado. I'll tell you what, how good is Joey Vado? He was determined this time up not to get out ahead of that ball. He hit one off the end of the bat, a breaking ball last time, and you can see how he just stayed back and stayed back, muscled that ball down the left field line.
Over to third, McGee. And another base running mistake. And Valleca is tagged out. Boy, what in the world is going on with the Reds? That's actually not that bad of a play because with first and third, and nobody out, his job is to get in that rundown to eliminate the double play. I guess that, you know, on a ball right at the third base, when they want to freeze. But I mean, the instinct is just to get going, just to keep going to home plate. That's the job of the third base, the guy at third base, to, to eliminate the double play possibility. Well, Blake had caught no man's land and. And that one's hit hard, deep left center field. That is going to get down. It's going to go to the wall. Lorenzo Cain will score. Escobar thinking about three, and he's on his way. The throw to third. Escobar is safe. Talk about speed. How about Escobar? A three-bagger here in the sixth inning. Now, that might have been a mistake going to third base, too. With two outs, you're ready in scoring position at second base. You never want to make the last out at third. And that was a little bit too close for comfort. But how about the walk? It should have been strike three. It looked like anyway. And you now the Brewers got a break on the uh, ball four call, the stolen base, and then the triple by Escobar, and the Brewers regain their lead. There's that fastball right down the middle of the plate, and Escobar hammers it into the left center field gap. Taking a bit of a. I forget who it was. I want to say Jeffrey Leonard. That was hit hard. Deep left center field. Kane and he leaps and he makes the catch. Lorenzo Kane. One of the best catches you'll ever see as he crashes into the wall. And Kane is down. Wow, what a play that was. And let's hope he's all right. Boy, he just continues to impress you out there in center field. I tell you, what a great catch. I thought that was a home run. Off the bat, I didn't think there was any way that ball was going to stay in the ballpark. Lorenzo Kane on his horse, full speed, a perfectly timed leap into the wall. Look like his shoulder went right into the wall. Check it out, right there, the right shoulder. Hits the wall. There's actually, looks like a chain link fence there. That doesn't help matters. Bingo, right off the chain link fence and. He bounces right off of it, and you hope he's going to be all right. Connor came out to visit him, and Mark Gray standing there on the mound as a first baseman. That ball's in the air. Right field off the bat of Francisco, and this game is tied. A pinch hit home run by Juan Francisco. Well, what a bright future, Chris, for this young man. When the day comes, he gets regular playing time, brother. I'll tell you, he generates some serious power, does he not? I mean, you talk about bat speed. Stand near the batting cage during batting practice, and it sounds like somebody's stacking timber. And the only question about this one was, was it going to be high enough? A laser beam of a home run.
Base hit left field. Broad field, throw to the plate. Reds win six oh, games man. ahead in the National League Central Division. Jay Bruce starts the scoring, and Jay Bruce ends the scoring tonight in Cincinnati. A 5-4-10 inning win, and Chris, it is a six-game lead now over St. Louis. Well, he started the scoring in the first inning with an opposite field home run off of Randy Wolf, and he ends it right here with an opposite field single in left field. Brandon Phillips on second base. Jay Bruce's sweet stroke continues. As he lines his ball by the shortstop in the left field, Ryan Braun can't throw out Brandon Phillips, and Brandon Phillips comes around with the winning run. And somehow, some way, they find a way to do it, and they have stretched their lead in the Central Division to six ball games. Let's go downstairs with Jay Bruce as Jeff Lacoro.